hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fever, and i'm a lifestyle content creator living in manitoba canada if this is your first time here you're definitely welcome please subscribe so you can join our family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming when i post new videos in this video i'll be showing you a couple of apartments and this first apartment you know goes for about 750 dollars a month per room okay because it's a shared accommodation in this case the current would i say landlord or current occupant was looking for your flatmate to occupy the second room and so he was renting out the second room for seven hundred and fifty dollars a lot of times i would suggest shared accommodation to new immigrants just to help them get settled in faster and also because a lot of times it's more affordable and in most cases they come furnished okay so you don't have to worry about having to buy a mattress you know study table and chair and all of that and i feel like that just helps you get settled in quicker so yeah this is something to consider when looking for a place so that's that for this you know first apartment and this is just what the neighborhood looks like so it's a very good you know neighborhood is also very close to the universities this is another apartment and this one happened to be a house but there were you know a couple of people living in the house when i asked the landlord he mentioned there were about you know seven people so this is just one of the rooms and then this one went for about 550 dollars a month however you know this was in the basement and then there were you know three other people that were going to be staying here so if you stayed here you would have to share the bathroom and the toilet with you know the other flatmates and i wasn't able to view the shower because you know someone was using it at the moment so something they did here was to separate the toilet and the shower that way people can use whichever they wanted to use you know individually without having to bother the other person right so like if it came combined then you know then if one person is having a bath even if they're not using the toilet then it's pretty much occupied right but in this case they can use whichever they needed right so i think that's not bad the only other thing was everybody in the house would have to share the kitchen because there wasn't a separate kitchen you know for the people downstairs in some cases it's not so bad but it's just you know if you wanted to cook and then someone is already there you probably just have to wait right so that's just something to have in mind again it's not bad anyways that's that for that one we'll be going to check out another one and this one was a brand new house well a house that they were just completing and i went to view it this one was a three bedroom so it actually has a basement and you know what i say another suite upstairs and they were rented out differently i'll get to the details of that in a moment but yeah just enjoy the view <laughs> So guys, I'm going to be talking about both houses at the same time because they are similar. Before I showed you the clip of the first house, I tried to show you, you know, the two houses side by side. And it seems, you know, the same person owns both, you know, buildings. And yeah, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. The reason why I'm talking about them together is just because they're two different houses. They are, you know, slight differences, you know, if you actually take your time to look at it also with the finishing. However, their prices are similar. Again, they're not exactly the same but they're similar so i'm just going to give you the price range so both houses have you know three bedroom units upstairs and then they have like the main floor like the living area so whoever rents the um you know three bedroom will get the living room area and then they also have a basement suite which has a private entrance i didn't view the basement of the first house you know because the guy wasn't in the house but he was in the second house so he was able to show me the basement of the second house he also explained to me the basement of the first house was not complete yet so they were not renting out the first house because they were still working on that but the second house was ready for moving as that when i did the viewing because of the location because this was in a very very good neighborhood it was also very close to the university it was located just off pembina highway and so honestly i feel like the demand was high while viewing the house there were a lot of other people there as well so i kind of had to wait for them to go and it was also very tricky for me trying not to get people in the video so yeah i just had to be very patient just to do the video for you guys um but yeah just because because of the location i don't think this is on the market for very long i feel like it was rented out within a week or two so yes i might show you guys an apartment right now you know because it was available when i was able to do the viewing however when you know the video goes up on the channel it might not be available it doesn't mean there are no other apartments available right that's why we're here to help you out so if you're interested in any apartment definitely reach out to me and i can see what we can find on the market or i can find something similar because all landlords want you know someone that's going to move in and pay them their money asap especially once the house is on the market right um so yeah both houses had you know the three bedroom units with the living room area you know on the main floor and then there was also the basement unit with a private 
entrance so whoever rented the basement unit would have their own private entrance and would have their own you know living room and all although it was smaller compared to you know whoever got the three bedroom the one that i viewed had two bedrooms in the basement and he had three bedrooms you know upstairs again they both had private entrances and of course i know you've been waiting for the price so the three bedroom cost about one thousand nine hundred dollars the only thing was no utility was included so it's a little bit on the high side but i mean for a three bedroom house you know in this neighborhood honestly i don't think that's bad because i've seen two bedrooms that cost the same amount okay so yeah for a three bedroom i don't think that's bad so it cost about one thousand nine hundred dollars to two thousand one hundred dollars a month and then no utility was included so you have to pay for your water and your heat or hydro bill um the two bedroom cost about one thousand five hundred and again no utility was included so you would have to do that yourself so at this stage i was done viewing the second house well the main floor of the second house and then he was just going to show me the basement so as you can see it has its own private entrance and then you know whoever lives here wouldn't have to deal with whoever's upstairs they have their own laundry they have their kitchen you know they have everything that they would need you know in their house the only thing is it's not as spacious as the main floor of course but yeah it equally looks good and i think that's what matters i get very disappointed when landlords post nice pictures online and then when i go for the viewings i see something different like yeah i honestly don't like when that happens but again that's why right there to help you check that you know whatever place you're renting is the best place for you and if anything at least you'd have a more realistic idea of what to expect when moving in so yeah this is what the basement unit for this house looks like the washer and dryer were not yet fixed and he explained to me they were going to be fixed and they already had a spot for it and it will be done before the new tenant moves in so yeah i enjoyed viewing this house i definitely enjoy viewing newly built homes or you know renovated spaces i just you know enjoy it and i usually watch uh, you know uh, renovation shows on tv sometimes you know just because i enjoy it anywho that'll be it for this video guys um if you have any question definitely reach out to me and i'm here to answer any question that you have also if you need assistance you know looking for an apartment or looking for a place to stay when moving to winnipeg definitely reach out to me you can always send me a dm on instagram at favis corner or you can send me an email my email is always in the description so yeah definitely reach out and i'm more than happy to help you out uh, but yeah i will see you in my next video but until then stay safe and stay blessed bye